I'm addressing camera A. And on that question, I'd like to introduce Aaron of Shred the Stress. Aaron, thanks for being here. We are at the Austin, Texas demo. Uh, minor chaos and people learning how to one wheel behind us. Um, but thanks for coming out and just want to talk Shred the Stress. I love what you do. Um, and uh, yeah, just wanted to get, tell me the story. Like, how, how, did, how did you get here? And, um, and what, are, what are you excited about? Man, I, I am excited about everything. First off, it's, it's, it is a pleasure to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for bringing me out here. Um, Shred the Stress is, like a, is my passion project. Um, I found out a couple years ago, like I was, I was going through some mental health things. I was going through some things in my life. And at that time I had a, a one wheel plus, you know, and it was just, it was the one thing that I could get out and go do. You know, I could, I could take it to work. Yeah. During lunchtime, I could go for a ride if I was having a bad day. Um, and unfortunately for some financial reasons, I ended up having to get rid of my, my plus. And it didn't really occur to me the impact of what I had done and how it affected my mental health. And that really got me thinking about myself, mental health in general, and being in the military, and, and just the things that we go through as service members, whether Navy, Air Force, Army, uh, Marines, whatever, we all go through very similar stressful like, things in our job, in our day-to-day -day life, and we need some kind of outlet. And there's so many negative ways that you could go, there's so many negative activities that you can find as an outlet, Let's focus on positive ones. And, and for me, that was not just the board. The board is, is, is itself is an extension of myself, but it's also an extension of the one wheel community. And I, and I figured out, once I took myself you know, out of the situation, I was like, okay, I need to get a new one wheel. I went and bought an XR. I felt great, I was doing much better. And then I got back into the community, the one wheel community, and I realized that it's not just the board, it is the community itself and the board that really gives that extra support in somebody's life. And I realized, again, that that's one thing that some service members who, who exit the service, veterans, uh, they kind of close themselves off from that military community at times. And that became the really, like the focal point of what Shred the Stress was, was created to bring. It was created to bring service members, families, and veterans into the one-wheel community. And the one-wheel itself, these, these boards, offer so much, not just like a therapeutic ex escape, but they, they're, they're a, a ticket into this community of just like-minded individuals who no matter where you go, no matter what you do, um, outside of the one wheel community, you're welcome into this community like open arms. And, and I've witnessed that with just every single person, like including you, including your crew here, and just meeting veterans who are already in yeah. the community, they've just rallied behind me as well, even those that aren't service members that may know somebody or that may be uh, just supportive of the military itself, they've just rallied behind me and they've shown me so much support and love for what I'm attempting to do. And, and to be honest, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm succeeding, but so far it's been, a, it's, it's been amazing. It's just been an amazing journey. How, so how long, super powerful. I, and, and for us, you know, um, I think one of the beautiful things for me is just that you know, we, we spend a lot of time and energy making these boards, sending them out into the world, and um, it, it's so wonderful to see outcomes that I we never envisioned. You know, like you're like this use case and this experience that you ha have had um, is not something that you know eight years ago when we had a you know, little prototype, we're right around the parking lot, would have never. You know, we're one, like wondering, hey, is this going to go up the wheelchair ramp on the sidewalk, like? But the last thing we're thinking about is is the impact that it could have, um, you know, in, in the military community or in commu other communities that, um, you know, you mentioned addiction as well and, and a few other, um, I don't know, yeah, groups of people that, that need support both in terms of community and a tool that gets you out and gets you moving. Um, so I just want to say, for me, it's just so epic to hear, like, it, it, this, is, this is what it's all about, you know? So you started this how long ago? Like when, when did you say, okay, like this has helped me a lot and now I'm gonna try so to give back? The idea really hit me. Um, I, actually, I was looking at my Instagram and I realized that in two days, today's May 29th, 
uh, in two days, May 31st, with my actual first uh, tweet and post on Instagram uh, about my project. And so it's almost a year to this date of coming up with, it's really like going on into this full force. Because that was the day, when I created the social media, I was like, this is it. This is the name, this is what I'm doing, this is my mission, I'm going for it. And yeah, so, so pretty much almost a year uh, was when I came up with the, with the idea and started it. And then November of 2021, was when I got my 501c3 status. Um, I did the paperwork. I tried, I tried using a, a, a service to get the paperwork done. They weren't helping me because nobody really understood like what I was trying to get across and what I was trying to create. So I did it myself, you know? And it's like, I think that's one thing that, that my military training and, my, and you know, the people that I'm, I'm doing this for, it's all kind of inspired me and motivated me to, 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 to not rely necessarily on, on services or other people because some people just don't really understand it yet. It's so new. This community is really new, you know? And, and it's, a, it's a big leap to look at this single-wheeled thing and explain to someone, this is a tool for mental health. Yes. That's a big, that's a big leap. Yeah, it's a big ask for people to understand that. But it absolutely is because uh, the first, before I even thought of the name, before I even thought of the, na the idea, uh, I went onto the One Wheel Owners Group on Facebook and I posted on there a, a, a poll and I said, is the One Wheel a, a form of therapy for you? And it was unanimous, unanimous. You know, I've screenshotted, I've used that on my social media and people were just like, yeah, absolutely. And from there, again, the idea just snowballed and I've had so many veterans, I've had so many people who are trying to help uh, you know, people, recovering addicts, uh, just people that, again, need that community, that need that activity, that need that escape it's 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 applicable to so many just things that are going on. To totally. I mean, to be honest, everybody, right? Every, every everyone has their own stresses. I, I I've sort of known it um, intuitively, even for myself. You know, you're having a bad day, or you haven't moved around a lot in a day, and you you haven't been outside. Just like how impactful it is to just zip around for 15 minutes and get some fresh air and some sunlight and just change the rhythm and the tempo that you're, that you're operating within. It's, a, it's almost a mental reset, you know, because you take yourself out of everything and it puts you just in the present moment and that's, that's, that right there can change your entire day's, like, just energy. Um, the, one, of the, one of the things that really showed me that, and, and helped me like, kind of focus on this mission was there was a, a post in a, uh, it was, you know, there's, there's local one wheel groups, yeah. Facebook groups set up everywhere and this particular page, somebody went on there and posted, hey, I'm a service member, you know, and, and I just, if anybody has a board that I could borrow and maybe we could go for a ride, you know, I just, I just need to get out of my own head, I'm going through some things. And this group rallied around this person almost immediately. And then down through the thread as I was reading it, somebody had, t and the reason I found it was because somebody had tagged Shred the Stress in the comments and was like, hey, have you heard about Shred the Stress? This is something that they're trying to, to focus on, and that moment, that was the moment I knew that I was on the right path. And, and from there, like I said, it's not just the veterans, it's not just you know, the service members who love this thing that are rallying around it, it's also the, the supporters of us, it's the community itself, the one wheel community who understands that this is something and what it can do for people. Now, again, like you were saying, not just service members, not just you know, recovering addicts, not just people who are just having a bad day. Like this is something that really almost anybody can easily access and that's my goal. When this gets out there, which it already is, uh, I, I want this to be, and I, and I want it to continue to be, because it already is at the moment, free to anybody that needs to participate. I want anybody that's having like a bad time, whether you're a first responder, whether you're a service member, a veteran, whether you're a spouse who just needs to get out of the day, or you're a couple, you know, your husband's in the military, your wife's in the military, and you need just an escape for a day, like hire a babysitter or whatever, give me a call, say, hey, listen, I just kind of need some support, me and my wife need support, can we get two boards and go for a ride? As long as it's a safe time, a safe place, I will meet you out there. I want people who are willing to put themselves out there and say like, take these, go for a ride, come back, and we're good. Maybe we'll grab some coffee after and talk about it. Man, epic. Just being available. Yeah, exactly. Available. Yeah. You know, I, I have a number, you know, I have my, the, all the social medias, they come right to me. Um, and if any people need it, like that's, that's what I want. I want the accessibility for this, for them to, to make a better decision yeah. than what the options are. Yeah. Totally. I've, been, I've been in too many places where I've had 
you know, su suicide is rampant in the military community. I mean, it's ramp it's, 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 it's terrible anywhere, but it's right now it's, it's continued to escalate in the military community. It used to be, you know, people would say 22 a day, 22 a day, one a day is too much. You know, one a day at all, anywhere is too much, but it's escalated with COVID, with the, you know, with, with quarantines, all this stuff, it's gotten so worse. So if this is a way that I can stop just one person from taking that worst case scenario where that worst case decision, I'll do everything in my power to make it. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's epic, man. That's amazing. <laughs> so you're a year in. Yep. Where, where, uh, where do you hope to be in, in a year from now or, or five years from now? Where do you, where do you see this growing? I used to think that it was almost impossible to think of like, you know, a year or five years of what the next thing was. I was always really just focused on like what's happening now. But like over the last few weekends, I've I've attended multiple events: Dirt Surfers, Oak City Shred Fest, you know, Austin uh, One Wheel Demo. And from the people that I've met and the people that I've gotten to speak to face to face about this mission, I would say within a year we're going to have people around you know the, the United States who are willing. Like I'm already getting like people are messaging me on the on the on the the social medias. They're reaching out. They're saying, "Hey, I've got boards. I'm located here. You know, if if you need somebody here, let me know." And like that's happening now. Yeah. And so I can see within a year us having representatives or ambassadors of Shred the Stress around the United States ready to go to help anybody that's just in a bad place and facilitating rides. Um, and I want this to be a, a holistic approach, head to toe, mind, body, spirit. You know, one of the things that we just did in Clarksville, where this originated, where I'm stationed at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, um, I work with our local, one of the local gyms, and we set up a yoga day. And so everybody could come in, and it was a pay what you want. If you, had, if you didn't have anything, come on in. If you had extra money, like, and, and then the gym was kind enough to donate it, donate it all to shred the stress. But, you know, we made over $200. That some, some people would say that's not a lot, but you know what? We, we reached people. Those classes were full, and it was an amazing day. Mind, body, and soul. That is what it is all about, 100%. I was gonna ask you, you kind of covered it, but if someone's watching this and they're wondering, they're saying, this is amazing, how do I help? How, what can I do to help this mission? What would you, what would you say is what you need or, yeah. What, yeah. What? Um, I would say right now, if people do want to reach out, they do want to help, if they just, you know, from being just a person that we can count on, you know, to, to, to be there for other people, if you have boards or not, you know, they can reach out to, to me or anybody at Shred the Stress at, you know, on our social medias. We're Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything's at Shred the Stress. Uh, we have a website, www.shredthestress.org. Um, there's a bar at the bottom where people can fill in their, their, their email and it goes to, a, 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 you know, an accessible uh, email address so that I can look at it and say, okay, this person is from here. This person's phone number is this. This person is, has boards and is willing to, to facilitate events. So those are really the best ways to get uh, involved and volunteer. Now, if people want to donate, you know, we do have a GoFundMe, um, GoFundMe forward slash Shred the Stress, or we have a PayPal.me, Shred the Stress. Everything's Shred the Stress. You know, we try and keep it easy to access. Um, but yeah, that's that's the best way. I mean, we're, we're you guys have already helped us out with a couple of boards, and, and, and that is, that was life changing. Like I, after our first, you know, a Zoom discussion, I went downstairs and I just sat with my wife for a while. And I was like, I, just, I, I can't believe like how fast this is, is growing. And I can't believe, you know, I'm, I'm just so thankful for what you guys have created um, and, how, and, and, and it becoming a tool for what I'm trying to achieve. And that's, that right there is just, I don't, I, I don't want anything out of this. I just want people to feel better. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, it, it's, it, it really is amazing. Like, uh, you know, we went to the group ride yesterday. There's maybe 60 people here, 70 people in Austin. And just you hear the you hear these stories. It's like people just make these really meaningful connections over um, over the product and, and create these memories. Uh, you know these moments. Uh, we've all had them. We all know what they are. You know, um, it's it, it's it's really cool. It's inspiring. Like the talking to some of these people and the and the things that they've been through and what they use this board for, or the fact that it's. You know, I've talked to numerous people, not just veterans, but I've talked to numerous people who have been like, this wheel, this, this equipment has saved my life. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that is, those are testaments and testimonials that, that show the power of, of, of what we can do as, as a society, as, as, as a community of one wheelers. Yeah. Um, because again, yeah, uh, 
we've been, we've, we've, this country has gone through a lot of hard stuff. You know, we've been in some, some you know, uh, I, I don't want to say, con we've been in conflicts, you know, and, and the people that are coming back, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not a, a, a I just want to, it's, we, we need to do better with our veterans. And, and it's, it's something that a lot of people recognize, but there's not a lot that, to be honest, is really being done. Like, the military's trying to do better, uh, the government is trying to do better, but we as a people, again, we, we, we are as a community can do so much for, yeah. for ourselves and for other people. Yeah. And, and again, this is just my goal of basically connecting the one wheel community, the veterans, service members, and their families, that community, and creating yeah. you know, that, that handshake that will really benefit everybody. I think it's, I think it's particularly interesting and, and neat in the sense that, like you're saying, the, the, the life and the experience of, of being a veteran or being in the military is so different and, and, and there's, there's such a gap between that and being a civilian. I have no idea what, what it is like, you know? And, and so, um, you know, while I am, I consider myself very patriotic and, and, and um, very sympathetic to, and, and, you know, a huge supporter of, of people that serve, I have no idea what I can do to help. You know, I, I just think that like, the, the lives of, of the civilian population and those who are you know, serving in the military are just so removed, you know? It's like, um, and so I think for someone like sitting in this chair, I think it's sometimes difficult to think about like, what can I do to, to help? And this is just such an interesting, and, and to me, quite honestly, like unexpected way. It's like, okay, this, this is something that, that we can support, you know, as, uh, you know, as a person in the one wheel world, um, I just think it's so so epic. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have thought a year a year ago, two years ago, I would not have thought that I would be uh, really like had had the the the, the ability to, to create this and already get it going. Yeah. And honestly, I, I probably still don't. The only reason that I'm still that I've, I've you know achieved this much this I want to say this fast this far yeah. is because of the community that I'm doing it for and the community that I'm doing it with. Yeah. If I was doing this on my own, which is impossible in the one-wheel community, I would never be, be where I am. Yeah. But luckily, like I said, I have supporters, I have my friends, I have my family, I have just so many people that are like coming around this yeah. and like, this is great, this is what we need. And I'm like, thank you, yeah. you know? And, and, and that's what I'm here for. Like I, I, I realized that this is, this is my mission. <laughs> okay, well, one more time for the people at home. Where can they find you? Uh... So, uh, pretty much, we can be found uh, on any social media platform at Shred the Stress. You can find us at www.shredthestress.org. Uh, that actually has links all over our social medias as well. If you can't, for some reason, find us, uh, and yeah, so you can just reach out to us any any way on those social medias. DM, comment, even if you don't. Uh, have the need for this program, you might know somebody that does, whether they're uh, the family of a veteran, whether they're a family of a current service member. Sh sharing is, is the least that we can all do. Totally. And spreading the message that, there's, that there is another resource out there because that's what we need to create more. We need to create more resources for people to reach out and not feel scared because there is a stigma around getting health with you know mental health situations. But that's why? Why? They're like, like I, I, I'll yeah. tell you, like, I've been in... We all, we all need help. Yeah, I've been, I've been serving for 18 and a half years, and I've been to this, the, the behavioral health, I've been to, to a counselor many, many times for the things that I've seen, the things that I've been through, and honestly, like, as great as it, a lot of it is, it's nothing compared to getting out there and, and being active. And community. And, and, and being a part of that community. Well, Aaron, Thank you, man. Super, just, it's, it's epic, really inspirational. I really appreciate what you do. I'm super stoked to support it, watch it grow. It's epic. I, I, I cannot thank you enough for, for the support thus far. I can't thank you enough for what we're gonna do together. Yeah. Uh, I, I really appreciate us creating this link, this partnership, yeah. and, and I just, I am so excited for the future and what is possible 
to make the lives of you know this community and the veteran community and the service member community like better. Yeah. And together we can absolutely do that. Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys. Shred the stress. Uh, and uh, yeah, appreciate any help. Yeah, there's potato salad, macaroni salad. Well, now we're getting into a whole- Cucumber salad. Now we're getting into a, a deeper debate, which honestly we probably don't have time for because like what constitutes a salad is a very controversial thing. Three, three bean salad. All right. Like, but Quin what, quinoa salad. This is actually like such a deep question. It really what is. What is a salad? Because like, I is it about like, this is hard. You guys, we're gonna need more time.